Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to sort the variables of a data frame by their names. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears and we can also have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data object and now you can see that our data frame contains five rows and four columns whereby these columns are called A, D, C and B. Now let's assume that we want to order the column names of this data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 7. And in this line of code I'm using a combination of the order and the names functions. And then I'm using these functions to subset our data frame so that the column names get ordered alphabetically. So if you run line 7 of the code, you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears, which is called data new one And we can have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data frame object. And now you can see that our column names are ordered alphabetically. So the first column is the column A, the second column is the column B, the third column is the column C, and the fourth column is the column D. So in this first example, I have shown you how to order the columns of a data frame based on the functions provided by the basic installation of the R programming language. However, a very popular package for data manipulation in R is the dplyr package. And for that reason, I also want to show you a second example, which is based on the functions of the dplyr package. So if we want to use the functions of the dplyr package, we also need to install and load the dplyr package. As I'm showing in lines 9 and 10 of the code, I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 10 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the dplyr package, such as the select function. So if we want to sort our data frame columns based on the dplyr package, we can apply the code that you can see in lines 12 and 13. And in these lines of code, I'm using the pipe operator. And then I'm specifying the select function, the sort function and the names function. And if we run both lines together, you will see that another data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called data new 2 And if we click on this data object, you can see that the data frame that was created by the functions of the dplyr package is also sorted alphabetically. So in this video, I have shown you how to sort variables of a data frame by their names in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, I will put all the R programming code that I have used in this video into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment or if you give me a thumbs up on the video. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.